Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. So this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 22nd through the 28th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up, but as we can see, it looks like we have a bright new beginning here, a bright new day. This is a breakthrough. Uh, comes out of nowhere so things are gonna get better for you I think that they're gonna get better for you really really fast on the bottom we have walking away you may have walked away from something if you did you have a new beginning here you have a beautiful new beginning the Sun is extreme happiness it is a time of growth this is basking in the Sun this is uh, glowing happy 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 so whatever is happening this is probably going to be a week where something happens that uh, makes you very happy by the looks of things um, Sun is is love okay so this has something to do with love could even be self-love whatever this is it is a breakthrough this is some sort of breakthrough um, happy news that is coming whatever it is this is a bright new day this is a life-giving energy it is a change in vibration it's beautiful it, be it is it's beautiful let's hope the rest of the cards say the same um, there's some sort of breakthrough Ooh, flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. You may be disappointed in a friend or a lover. Heartache over what you no longer have. So there is some sort of heartache over what you no longer have. And I think that there obviously has been some sort of disappointment, okay, in somebody, okay. And I feel like you've been suffering. You've been in pain. Things are going to start to get better this week. Okay, the sun is a card of healing. Okay, it's a healing love. It's a healing light. It's a healing energy. So if you have been struggling with some sort of pain, some sort of heartache, this is going to be a week of shifting that pain where things start to get better. Okay, so things are going to start to get better. And you may, you may, don't feel guilty. I think we talked about this before for being happy. Okay, you've been, you've suffered long enough and you should be happy. You should be. Um, what do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra? Ten of Pentacles. Now that is abundance. That is a happy, comfortable home. This is uh, success, it's financial success, it's financial stability, it's abundance, it's comfortable. There's nothing to worry about. This is a happy home, it's a happy establishment, okay? This is a long-term stability, all right? So whatever is happening, you've obviously been struggling, okay? You're going to start to feel a lot more comfortable this week. This could be a new home. Some of you may be purchasing a new home or you may be um, brightening up your home. Maybe you're changing the colors in your home. Things are gonna start getting better at home, put it that way. Ooh, breaking free from something that you were tied to, that you were bound to. So you're severing, or ties, that's in the past. This is this friend or a lover that has disappointed you. This is severing ties. It's cutting the cords. It's breaking free. It's uh, removing the chains. So leaving a toxic situation behind. Having a nice, comfortable, loving home um, establishment. This is things, you know, getting better. So you are removing yourself from a toxic, unhealthy situation that you have been tied to for quite some time and it's caused you a lot of emotional disappointment um, whoever you were dealing with was very possessive they were very they may have had some sort of addictions could have been a sex addiction could have been a drug addiction or just a control ish did addiction this person may have had a big ego uh, whatever this is I feel like you are breaking free from this is definitely freedom it is 
This is a card of freedom. This is a card of freedom. So you're free. You're free. You're breaking free from an unhealthy, toxic situation. Or you are being freed. You are being freed. Um, this is a very, you know, stable, comfortable home. Um, Knight of Pentacles reversed. Now there's some sort of delay. Some sort of stop. I think that you... Let's get one more card because we need to get a card to go with that. You're dealing with somebody that is unstable. You're still dealing with this. It could be a father figure. I don't know if you're dealing with a father figure. Um, could be a boss or a husband or just a masculine energy. It could even be a female. It could be a mother that is very masculine. You're dealing with somebody that it could be. It feels like it's a parent. It doesn't have to be a parent. Um, this person is unstable. They are insecure. They're not stable. They're not very structured. They may have deserted you in your time of need. Uh, this person is corrupt. They are, feel like they are above the law. They could be breaking the law. This, this week, this person may be breaking the law. Um, they are angry. They're angry. But you're going to end up being broken free from this person. This person is, I don't know if you're dealing with a narcissist. Uh, this person is very, very controlling. Extremely controlling. Inexperienced. Unstable. Unfaithful. Um, greedy. We got somebody here that is greedy. They are selfish. They are not qualified for the job. This is somebody that doesn't have anything of value to offer. They're not, they don't have anything, anything of value to add, but they like to be in control. So you're dealing with this controlling person right now. You're going to be, there's something happening with this person this week. Mm -hmm. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have Capricorn, you know, you, for me, I'm going to go ahead and these cards came out. This is Capricorn. This could represent Capricorn as well. And this is Capricorn. Okay. So for a lot of you, you could be dealing with Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Taurus. This could be Taurus as well. This could be Taurus. You also have Leo up here. Um, whatever is happening, you have been under somebody else's control. This person is unstable. They lack responsibility. They don't like to be held responsible. This is somebody that is not very responsible at all. They have, may have deserted you or they're deserting you this week. Ooh, and you're dealing, you know, you could be dealing with two people. I feel like you are dealing with two people. You could be dealing with somebody that is absolute. Well, could be one person, could be two. Could be a mother, could be a father. Could be a stepmother, could be a stepfather. Could be a boss, could be a third party. You know, it could be an ex. It could be the other woman, you know, or the other man or something like that. You're dealing with somebody that is malicious. This person is malicious. They are definitely unstable. They are um, in a state of depression. This is somebody that is in a state of depression this week. I don't feel like it's you. I don't. I feel like somebody that you're dealing with is in your energy. This person is... These two people are struggling with each other. They are struggling with each other. They. It feels like they are doing something that is against the law. They are corrupt. They are, it's a scheme. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is scheming. Um, they are not going to get the, they won't get help, you know, the star, they haven't healed from something. This is somebody that isn't dark you, or a couple. It could be a couple. It could be two people that are extremely dark because this is the opposite of the star. But your, that, that sun card is some sort of protection. It absolutely is. There's clarity. There's clarity that is coming and you are, I feel like you're protected, but anyhow, who is somebody that you're dealing with that has deserted you, that is very, very forceful and controlling. And it could be, I don't know if it's your parents or it's, or who it is. Um, there is a forceful couple here. I do feel like it's a couple that's going to be stopped in their tracks in some way. Um, the star card reversed. That is no help, not getting any help. That is not getting what they hoped for. Whoever this person is that is corrupt is not going to get what they want. They're not. They're, they're not. Even though they have some sort of plan. They, but it's not a stable plan. It's not a solid plan. They're, they're not very experienced. They may say that they're experienced or they feel like they're experienced, but they're not experienced. This is people or a person that is not experienced. 
even though they think that they are. They may think that they are. This is somebody that has got a big ego or a couple. This is this could be a couple that are working together to uh, stop you from being comfortable, you know, stop you from being happy or something like that. Either way, you're going to be broken free from these people, whoever they are. Um, there's somebody that doesn't like you, okay? They don't like you, or and they're trying to stop you. They're trying to cause delays. And if they don't like you, they, they, don't, they don't like somebody that you're living with or something like that because that, that Ten of Pentacles could be a family situation. This may have to do with family. It could also have to do with work, some sort of establishment. Either way, you have been bound to something that is unhealthy and you are dealing with somebody that is extremely mal malicious, malicious, malicious. This is somebody that has a self-image problem that isn't healthy. This person isn't healthy at all, at all. With the Queen of Wands reversed, the Emperor reversed, the Knight of Pentacles reversed, and the Star all right here, this person is unstable. They are unstable, they are insecure, and they are not healthy with the Star reversed. They may have some sort of illness. It could be a chronic illness. And, um, yeah, it could definitely be a chronic illness. This person, um, I feel like there's breaking the law here. They're not going to get what they wanted. They, they're, they're, they're losing something. What are they losing? Losing their ground or the star card reversed. Poor health, lack of faith, ashamed. This person should be ashamed of themselves. Somebody should be ashamed of themselves. It's not you. This person may have gotten themselves involved with somebody that is malicious, that has hidden agendas, and now they've been pulled in, they've been pulled in, and now they're in a dark place too. There's definitely some instability here, a lack of responsibility. I feel like there's somebody here that is angry. They're very, very angry. They're depressed. They're in a dark place. They're dealing with an individual that is very forceful and controlling and malicious. Mm. Somebody from their past. So somebody is clinging to the past. They're clinging to the past and they need to look at things in a different light, but they can't because they're in such a dark place. We have an individual that has been hoping, they've been hoping for a reunion with somebody from the past, but it's not realistic, it's not practical, there's no stability, it's not even... There's another person that is involved that is that is uh, very malicious and controlling and has the power. So it's like it's not going to happen. So we have somebody here that was deserted by an individual that is irresponsible and unfaithful. But there's been hoping for a reconciliation. But that re reconciliation isn't going to happen. It's not going to happen because there's... There's, there's something better. You think about the sun card. There's a better opportunity for long-term stability. There's a better opportunity for, you know, forever, right? So I do believe that we have somebody that's going to be angry over no reconciliation with the past. Oh, four of swords. Now that is the death of a person or idea. Okay, that is a time to retreat, time to heal. Healing is needed. Somebody needs a time out. They need to take a time out. I feel like they're suffering. You think about the three of swords up here. That's pain. It's a painful separation. Somebody really needs to take time to heal. They may be sent. I feel like somebody may be sent to a hospital or sent away or something like that. They need to heal. Somebody needs to heal. Um... Somebody hasn't been honoring the truth. They haven't been accepting the truth about a separation from the past. Whoever they are dealing with that deserted them is involved with another person. And they are both in a dark place. A very dark place. Okay? And there's no hope. It's over. It's done. It is. You need. It is. It's over and it's done. And I feel like 
somebody isn't accepting that it's over. They aren't accepting, you know, what comes before the star, the tower. The tower is, you know, a false foundation that crumbled because it was a necessary evil. It was meant to crumble. It wasn't stable. It wasn't solid. It wasn't secure. You know, it happened for a reason. It's time to go someplace else. But with that star card reversed, we have somebody here that, you know, hasn't been able to accept it. They haven't been able to accept help or they haven't been able to accept that it's over, that it ended. And they've been clinging to the memories of the past. Anyhow, we, we do have... Um, some sort of heartache, some sort of heartache over what you no longer have. And I feel, feel like you're going to be feeling it this week. You're going to be feeling the heartache. I feel like your new life is beginning. I feel like your new life is beginning. I feel like things are going to start getting better. I think that you're, you may be making changes in your home or you may be building a new foundation or whatever is happening. You may be, uh, the, the sun card can be a new start. It can be a new beginning, you know, that leads to long-term commitment. I do believe that you have been uh, delaying this opportunity this new beginning you've been delaying this new life okay this is the new beginning this is the new opportunity and this is the delay and I think because it, there's been a lot of reminiscing about I don't know the past and maybe and I want to say feeling guilty we talked about this I think in last week's reading you need to let go of the guilt you need to let go of the guilt okay whoever you were dealing with they had no intentions of taking care of you they were not practical they were not going to accept responsibility they didn't want to be accepting responsibility they were looking maybe they were looking for sex something to do with sex you know um, some or a sex appeal or something like that uh, but now there's illness, and there could even be some mental illness here. There could definitely be some mental illness. You could be dealing with somebody that is mentally ill. Um, I, do, I do believe that this week things are going to change, and they're going to change for the better because you're going to be breaking free, severing ties with whoever this person is or whoever these people are. I feel like um, who, somebody is sick. Somebody is sick. Ah, Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is a positive change. It's a change in direction. So something, a change is happening, okay? A change is definitely happening this week. You know, somebody may or may not survive, and I hate to say that, but the, if you were to look up the Ten of Swords reverse, this is like a mental or physical collapse. You know, somebody could not be getting up from whatever it is that they have done um anyhow things are about to change in a very positive manner i think that uh there's been a lot of suffering and there's been a lot of pain and i feel like it's all coming 10 10 completion and 10 10 10 10 you definitely ha you definitely have a major completion this week you are a cycle that you have been involved in is completing this week this is the end of a painful situation. Things are about to get better. They are definitely going to get better. You are moving in a new direction. And where, wherever it is that you're going to, there's stability, there's, there's comfort, and there's happiness. There is happiness. So I think that you've, you've held on to something for quite some time, maybe 10 years. I don't know, maybe it's 10 years. Um, could be longer, but I think it's, this is it. This is it. I feel like this is it. You're free. You're free. You're free. I want to say that you're free, um, from this, these people's control or this person's control. Somebody has had control over you. This, I feel like there could be an angry person here as well with the emperor or angry couple that could get into a fight as well. And it could, it could end badly. It could end very, 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 very badly. Um, there's no chance in reconciliation and that could be what causes a, uh, ending. Okay. Anyhow, things are about to change and they're about to change in a positive manner for you, for you. Um, 
there's been a delay. There's been a delay in getting your rewards or there's been a delay in you having abundance and having stability and having security. But things are about to change for the better, okay? You're about to live a very happy life. You are. Um, because you are being freed from something that you, I feel like you have been unable to remove yourself from the situation. But this is a card of karma and destiny. So I do believe there's going to be an, an event. It's a, it's a fated event. And I don't need the tower. It's fate. Okay. Uh, so I do believe there's going to be a fated ending with somebody from your past. And I think that it's meant to be because you have a happy new life right in front of you. I do, see, I do see heartache, though. I do see heartache over this loss, okay? I think it's a painful, painful, painful loss. I do. I do. Um, there's no going back after this. It's like there's no going back after this. For some of you, there's a man and a woman here that are uh, causing you pain. They've caused you a lot of pain. You may have been hoping things were, you know, there was going to be some sort of reconciliation. There's not. There's not. So anyway, Libra, I feel like this week, there's a major completion in your life with an individual or a couple. You know, it could be two people, it could be one person taking on the same energies. You're going to be having a major completion with somebody that has deserted you that has controlled you, that has lied to you, that has manipulated you, that has um, probably made you depressed, probably, you know, made you feel uh, like you weren't good enough. This is all coming to an end this week. There's going to be some sort of, of uh, major completion changing directions.